Hey guys, I owe the internet a redo of this video. The last one I made was in 2010, and I took it with the worst camera available at the time. So here we go. To create an equilibrium expression, all you need is a balanced chemical equation. The KEQ involves you taking the concentrations of all your products and putting them in the numerator of the fraction, and the concentrations of all the reactants and putting them in the denominator. The exponents on each of the concentrations is the coefficient from the balanced chemical equation, and you'll only include things that are AQ, aqueous, or G for gas. Solids and liquids are never included. You guys learn best by example, so I'm gonna do one with you. Products, reactants, it's an equilibrium because I have my double arrow, so I can create my equilibrium expression, KEQ. Products over reactants. One of my products is NCl3, and it's a gas, so I include it. The exponent is one because the coefficient is one. HCl is also a product included because it's a gas, and the exponent is three. So that concentration gets cubed when you figure out what KEQ is. In my denominator, I put all my reactants, NH3 to the one and Cl2 to the three. All of my products of reactants appear in KEQ because they're all gases. Cool? Let's do this again. Here's a solid dissolving into two aqueous things. My KEQ is products over reactants. Here is an aqueous product. It gets included, Ca2 plus, and the coefficient is three, so that's my exponent, Ca2 plus cubed. In addition, I have PO4, three minus, and it's squared because there's a two in front of it. In case you're curious, we're multiplying these. Cube this times the square of that. In my denominator, I'll put this. Wait, no I won't. It's a solid, so we don't put it in. There's nothing else on the left-hand side, the reactant side, so we don't even have a denominator here. More accurately, the denominator is just one, but we never ever write that. We would just stop here. Cool? Yeah, that's how it goes. And finally, we have HCN dissolving in water to give H3O plus and CN minus. My KEQ here is aqueous H3O plus concentration times aqueous CN minus concentration one and one are my exponents. And in my denominator, I'll put aqueous HCN concentration and water. Wait, I don't include water because it's a liquid. So I'm done here. You guys get it? It's pretty straightforward. Products over reactants, coefficients become exponents, and you don't include solids or liquids in your KEQs. Piece of cake, son. Best of luck to you.